Right, it's a bright and sunny day at Saltwick Bay, so we'll have a little look down here. It's uh, pretty bright, very early in the morning, but uh, we'll see if we can find some interesting stuff. So, uh, Saltwick Bay is mainly to ash and exposures, so uh, lots of bifron zone ammonites such as Dactyloceros, Hildoceros, occasionally the odd Phyloceros, occasionally the odd bit of bones. Uh, Ichthyosaur bones, uh, so yeah, that's mainly what we find, but you never know, it can be all sorts of other stuff as well. Let's have a look and see. Uh, it looks pretty nice down there. Not been to Saltwick for some time, but yeah, tide conditions look good. Let's see if we can find some good stuff. So we just uh, on the first bit. There's a little little cliff fall just uh, just down here, uh, but unfortunately not too much in it at the moment. But it will weather out some nice stuff. But first stack of the day, I just split it. There we go. Nice little uh, Cosneg ducky. There we go. So I'm going to go around the corner now, past the shipwreck, past Donald Trump, and um, yeah even find some good stuff. If you do come here with kids, obviously remember, stay away from the cliffs. There is lots of beach road stuff. So just looking for anything with keels. And these can be quite nice. You can break these up with a hammer. Probably have a nice little middle in that. But yeah, always interesting to find. And there we go. Just broken that open, a little tiny one. See, even a warm beach pebble can be quite pretty. It's all there. It's an awful one. That was a piece of uh, Phyloceros. So you can see the ribbon. Yeah, it's uh, only a piece. Oh, another perfect nodule. Uh, oh, yeah, and I can see it's quite crusty, is this one, but there is a duck keel in there. So, yeah, that's nice. There's another one being left on here as well. That's actually got a nice one in there. Oh, I spy a little duck. Is it all there though? Uh. It is. Oh, not sure that was going to be there. But no, that's definitely there. Little duck, nice. And I think I see another. Have you seen it yet? Hiding out of this piece of shale, just here. Oh, but that's not all there. That's a shame. It unfortunately has corroded away. So, yeah, never mind. Aha, uh -huh. a little fat one. <laughs> that is a uh, Peronoceros with. The spines, I'm not exactly entirely sure that's all there to the middle, but the mouth border on that is exquisite. So I might just take that. So look, that's where the creature would have lived. So it would have poked out of there and look, look at that mouth border. That is absolutely exquisite. So I may just take that on the off chance. I'm just not sure whether it goes back into the whirl or not. There is a little bit showing there. But I think that's worth taking. Yeah. Even from the other side. I don't think I've seen a mouth border that good before. Wow. Just a reminder, I've still got the summer competition going on, so uh, in order to participate and win some uh, wonderful Yorkshire Coast fossils, uh, you need to purchase a t-shirt from the uh, Fossiliferous web shop, which is uh, fossiliferous.onlineweb.shop. Um, go there, get yourself a t-shirt, one of these. Nice uh, for uh, summer fossiling. Uh, once you've done that, get some pictures of you wearing it on the beach, fossiling, doing some activity, uh, whatever it is, as long as it's not dangerous. Uh, my kids will uh, judge the winner in September, so uh, still plenty of time to enter uh, on your summer holidays. And while well, it's t-shirt weather, because then it'll be uh, hoodie weather, I think. What's that there? Ooh, that's a bit of a catacolosterous, I think, that. 
not preserved unfortunately, but yeah, so that's a bit of catacloceros from the upper beds. So, perfect looking nodule, but it's actually a pyrite one. You see some really badly worn dacks. What's interesting about this is you can see the rib in there, that is uh, a phyllo. So these have probably been sat inside a mouth border or something of a phyllocerus. So where the phyllo is, don't know, but yeah. Nice to see, but I'm not going to collect it, because uh, it won't be well preserved. Yeah, what's that down there? See some sort of ribbing. <laughs> I think that's just been on the edge. Oh well, never mind. I'll tap it just in case there's something else inside there, but I very much doubt it. Piece of petrified wood. Fossilised wood there, a bit different. Another broken right there. Yeah, it's at the end bay now, you can just about make out the lighthouse tower. Just there, whip behind, that's the last bay. Have a look over that little corner, see if it's all in. Right, spot the duck time again. I see it yet. I don't know if it's all there. Oh. Yeah. A bit beach worn, but yeah, I'll have a middle. I'll take that one. Okay, cool. So, I'm just getting some ducks uh, from the uh, fall here. <laughs> I think I found a monster. I think it's a monster. Oh, it's all there as well. That is a monster duck. Absolute monster, look at the size of that. Nice, probably a double as well. So it's unfortunately in this black stuff, which is not always easy to prepare, but that, that's a big deck. Wow, huge. Right, all right, we're done at Saltwick Bay. A few little finds, not too bad. We'll do a roundup when we get back, but yeah. Okay, a roundup of finds from uh, Saltwick today. So, quite a good day really. Some interesting uh, nodules and for uh, summer fossil hunting. Not bad at all, so. <clears throat> we start with the, uh, I think that might be a duck actually. A duck in there, which would be a nice one. But yeah, start with the Perinoceros. So a lovely Perinoceros in there. That's looking uh, like it might prep very nicely actually. Probably a fibulatum looking at that button and loop. And, uh, you can see you can see where the ribs join together. That button and loop is characteristic characteristic of fibulatum. However, sometimes the inner whorls can be very tightly ribbed, in which case it will be a turriculatum. Uh, you can never tell uh, until they are prepped, really. So yeah, what else do we get? This little fat one, which looking at the ribs on it is either a Catacloceros or a fatter version of a Perinoceros, probably a Submartin. Another little Perinoceros there. You can see all the little spines on the ribbing. Get this one, which again you can see really clearly on this one, you can see the button and loop. So, you can see the loop and you can see the spine just pokes at the, the, the top of the loop. So again, probably a fibulatum, uh, but it does have a fantastic mouth border on there. So that's the natural mouth border. You can see how it kind of curls over so the creature would live, live in there and be bobbing up and down through the sea. Unfortunately, it does disappear a little bit in this world, so I think it might not be quite preserved fully, but uh, just for the mouth border alone, that's interesting. Submartum, so you can see that is a very wide world ammonite. Go into a depressed centre. Um, yeah, lovely ammonite seas. I've got a few, but you don't get very many of them. So this one probably does need taking back a little bit to get rid of that worn bit, or it could be presented as is. Don't know, it depends on your preference. I prefer them absolutely perfect, so I'd probably make a smaller one out of it, but some people don't mind if there's a little bit of wear and tear on. 
uh, au naturel. So yeah, that's a nice one. And then a, a good variety of dactyliosaurids really, so this one's probably the most noteworthy. Huge size, this is as big as they come, so that'll be a, a full adult uh, macroconch or a female. It has got another one poking out the side there as well, so that's pretty cool actually. Could be a really nice piece. Now unfortunately it is in this black stuff and it doesn't always prepare very well. <clears throat> doesn't always prepare very well, so we'll have to see how it turns out. And then, yeah, just a variety of other bits and pieces. So, interestingly, you do get these they're almost green in colour. Not as green as, um, as them, but they are a little bit greeny. It's an interesting preservation that sometimes you get at Saltwick. Um, I think it's the pyrite content. But yeah, um, that'll be a nice one. That's well preserved. Uh, lots of others. Some in some nice big nodules. That one again, it's across there. Um, one of the things to look out for on the beach is the worn nodules because they're quite hard to see sometimes. So, for example, that one, when it's just in a pebble and it's all dry, it's almost invisible when it's on the floor. Um, but if you can see the keel poking out, you know there's an ammonite in there. Again, that's a good example. From that side you can tell it's an ammonite, but if it's just laid there on the beach, just another pebble, you're just looking for that kind of shape. Always good look for, look for this kind of shape, so we'll avoid a bit of junk to it. Quite often there can be ammonites in there. So yeah, for summer fossil hunting, not a bad trip. So yeah, worth keeping your eyes open and having a look at Salt Lake Bay.